so continuation, I actually, um, a little under the weather the last day or two, so I haven't been really been out of the house much. But I'm going to be testing FSD to highway transition with um, uh, 10.2 software. A lot of people have been asking about it, and I haven't had a good place to try it because we have uh, carpool lane lights, and they're not always detected where I'm driving. And this particular one is a, the cameras can see, the other ones they can't see. So, um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to test that really quick. As you saw, it was going a little bit too slow back there. And here, it's turning towards the curb. It really... Oh, man, it wasn't even going to turn. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, it really... It didn't even detect that car. That was crazy. Um, it really struggles in this this particular area. I don't show it too often because it's, it's really rough for me. The lane edges there there's no white line so it's just kind of like the gutter and it slopes up to the curb and it's like almost the same color so the vision can't see it so it really struggles this whole area right in, in on Folsom Boulevard right here it's it's always struggled with that's why I don't typically show this too often because it's a bit rough but at least this is a right turn onto the freeway the carpool lane lights are very visible So I wouldn't have like, you know, taken that turn so aggressively and swerved in there, but I reported it. Being very cautious. So we're actually on the freeway on-ramp. Um, the speed hasn't increased yet, even though it says 65 here. Maybe because it's still in FSD mode. Well, that's odd. Well, it's a good test. Didn't increase the speed like it should have. That was actually my very first time doing a full um, FSD onto the highway transition. Um, I think I tested it on one of my very first nights um, with no traffic. I did it two days ago. It's a very sharp, it's a very sharp curve. Um, it didn't detect the lights because of the angle of the cameras and the position of the lights. So I didn't even want to show it because it just didn't work that well. But I only had, I think, three disengagements for the entire trip from my home all the way to another city. So. That was really good. I actually tweeted about that. Oh, wow. So there is an accident on the freeway. I was wondering why it's routing me this way because it doesn't normally, I'm actually going to Carmichael area and it doesn't normally route me so far. It doesn't normally route me to this off ramp, this on ramp. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. This is why it's worth paying the premium connectivity because you get all the traffic data and you get streaming music. Model Y, dual motor. I really like the performance Model Y. I think it looks so nice, especially with those new, um, I think Uber Turbin tires, the 21 inch, they look really, really cool. This is always so crazy, even for me. If there's merging lanes here, it merges, and then you have, you have, I think it's Highway 99, and then you have Business 80 merging with two lanes and two lanes, and they're all merging right here. But then there's an exit for 16th Street right here. I mean, this is just crazy. Oh, man. That breaks a little bit too much because I think it was trying to speed match the truck here. Um, there was plenty of distance for the cars behind me. If there wasn't, I would have put my foot down on the throttle because it, it pretty aggressively braked to match the speed of that truck. 
I think because it was still detecting it slightly in one of the lanes. Now, as you can see, I don't have um, automatic lane changes on um, fully. Like, I have to confirm it just because it doesn't always make the best decisions in, from my point of view. Now the highway mode and the full self-drive in the city mode, it's different. So the Navigator Autopilot doesn't have me confirm lane changes in town. It just changes lanes. But on the highway, I confirm it, which I'm okay with because sometimes I, I you know, I'm familiar with the traffic here and where the lanes merge. So I kind of just like wait a little bit. I guess that's my, my preference. One thing I used to always complain about was it would try to do a, a navigate on autopilot lane change near an exit, an off-ramp or an on-ramp. And I noticed, um, I don't know which release it was, but they changed the functionality to not do lane changes near an off-ramp or an on-ramp. I was so happy because that was one thing I used to complain about all the time. <laughs> wow, I don't know what they're doing. This is closed. This, this is all backed up. And then on the other side, completely stopped. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm not sure why it's doing a, <laughs> it put the, look, it's turning the right turn signal on. Oh my gosh, these people must think I'm crazy. Yeah, look at this big, huge truck going. Oh man. So you can see it switched to the FSD mode there. Um, normally it's in uh, highway mode, but you can see what happened. It switched the FSD code there and it started turning the turn signal on. I don't know why, but that was really weird. really strange to see it switch to the FSD code um, because we were still on the we were still on the freeway we were transitioning from uh, a highway to an interstate so I'm not sure why it transitioned to FSD mode when we were back there just now and then the turn signal kicked on that was really really weird it's almost like it detected we were on the city street for some reason and it switched the code going to push over or not because it's a two lane to the right um, and this truck is going pretty slow so I wonder if we're going to it's going to make us go to the right oh yeah it's true it's on transitions it's toggling to FSD code that's really interesting and that worked that's interesting It's also interesting how it's not going any faster. Look at the speed, it's set at 65. It's only going 58, uh, maybe because it knows we're on a transition. Yeah, maybe that's it, that's cool. So that's the, 
the supercharger up in Natomas, and someone just said that they upgraded it to V3. Now, it's not showing here. I'm gonna have to go check it out, but uh, someone mentioned that that's now a V3 charger. Like, all of our chargers are being upgraded to V3 in Sacramento, except Arden Mall. The Arden Mall still urban charger, so they're 70, 75, 72 or 75 kilowatt. never drive this way. Um, I just passed Fry's Electronics. So this coming week, uh, we're supposed to be getting a new update that's supposed to improve the MSD code quite a bit from what Elon Musk tweet said. So part of my route that I normally do, I'm gonna test a bunch of roundabouts, but I'm also going to go to Sacramento International Airport, uh, to the terminal. I've had a few people mention to see like how the car would perform going into the airport and going through all the different roads there. So that's actually another part of what I'm gonna test. Um, I'm gonna check out the new charger to the V3 supposedly in Natomas and then uh, check out the airport. So that'll be part of like the whole route I'll do. I'll probably like go through downtown, jump on the freeway, go to the airport and then come back into town. So I think I said before, I usually leave my car in autopilot normally all the time on the freeway. So you can see I'm, I pretty much stay in autopilot the entire time when I'm on the freeway. I really don't have a lot of problems with it on the freeway. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really have any issues. I, I, I think I take over, I don't know, like just a few times in the entire year. Like I never have to uh, overtake here. Even like back where all those merges were happening, it was fine. I don't think I want to move over there because that truck's going kind of slow. freeway right there it's business city and it does not switch to the fsd code when i'm at that interchange um, so it must have to do with like ramps yeah i think i even tweeted about it my favorite feature of the enhanced autopilot package, FSD package, is the automatic lane change. That is like my favorite feature because I used to do about a hundred mile a trip, a hundred mile round trip commute to work before COVID. Um, I did it for like 12 years. So 
that was like my favorite feature to be able to just get on the freeway and have it automatically change lanes and then navigate on autopilot came out and that was awesome because it was doing it by itself but you know the the logic i don't know like when we're driving oh that car got close so when we're driving you know we can see pretty far ahead i know the cameras can see too but we can kind of anticipate like when we start seeing traffic piling up we'll move over pretty early to anticipate that delay um but in but with uh, navigating autopilot it doesn't always make the best decision at least from my point of view so i generally leave off the automatic lane changes and i confirm them when i'm ready um, that's just kind of my preference now i didn't have it on there because that particular turn it's madison avenue off of interstate 80 it it it's not the smoothest so um it's it's been getting better but i don't even want to show it because it's a little rough and there's a turn up here on garfield avenue <laughs> the like i don't know it was maybe two two or three different versions it um that was strange it stopped back and then it rolled forward and turned the steering wheel to the right so my tires are slightly pointed to the right anyway so garfield avenue what was happening is like three or four different versions uh there was one point where the car kind of like turned and the whole back of the car was going to go up on the uh, center median now with this software i haven't experienced that so i'm gonna hopefully it'll go well for us today <laughs> Yeah, I don't like how the steering wheel is pointed. It, it, the path is fine, but I don't like that the wheels are turned because, you know, the, on the outside of my car, my wheels are aiming to the right. Navigate on autopilot currently unavailable. Features may restore it on next drive. There has been some weird glitch I've noticed in this software version. Yeah, there it's back. Um, it did it in the rain the other day where it did the same sound. It didn't show the message, but it did the same sound, like it had poor visibility. So I don't know what was up with that. So here's that meeting that I'm talking about. It's like, it's showing purple. It's kind of like the same issue I'm having in Midtown. We have these really weird traffic circles that aren't like, they're roundabouts, but they're, they're not like, they're like just in the center of the road and they show purple and my car wants to like go through them. So I'm really hoping that next release fixes this issue. But here there's like this little post that sticks up and it does, it, it's marked as red, but it's wanted to go up on the curb multiple times here. See the red mark? And you can see that it's like, it's like a reflector sticking up. So I think what's happening is you see how it's like showing purple. This is actually the left-hand side of that um, median. This side is the right, but right here you're seeing there's no more purple showing. You see the red dot, like the traffic thing, the little marker, but the purple disappeared. So like the vision must have said, oh no, we're not sure it's there and then made it go away. And now it's out of view, so the cameras don't see it. So I think that's why my car keeps wanting to turn and clip this. So there is something going on with this particular this particular thing right here. You see, it's like it thinks that they're like, oh, maybe it's something here. You can see the dots flickering a little bit, but it's not staying. Again, the steering wheel's to the right. I just don't like how it's doing that. It, really should keep the wheels straight. It got close. I mean, probably maybe about like that far, maybe five inches, four to five inches. Now he, it used to be really rough here. So I never really recorded. I think my very first, very first number of drives, I tried this and it, it didn't go very well for me. But as you saw, on this release, it's getting a lot better. So this is unmarked. It's just a very wide road, but it's go it's working fine. Okay, I made it to my destination.